It's a calm and serene atmosphere here at the Ogba Junior Grammar School. You can see students actually playing behind me. But as at yesterday, it was pandemonium when a toxic chemical gaseous substance emitting from a laboratory close to the school actually caused 22, about 22 students to faint. Four of the students are still receiving treatment at the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital. It's 11 in the morning. They are supposed to be in class studying. But the event of the previous day leaves them loitering in the school compound. Sharing a fence with this school is this shopping complex. This closed photo laboratory is where the suspected toxic gaseous substance emanated from. The operators are said to be answering questions at the Police Criminal Investigation Department, Panty, as to what they do behind these doors. We have NASEPA, we have other governmental agencies. Now, before you can even start any project, any business, you must seek permission, even though from the local government, to find out that whatever you want to do is not injurious to the people around you. Because, you know, Nigerians, they get most of the thing through the back doors. If not, nobody, no ag government agency can give an approval for such place for, that, for them to be using it for that, what they're using for. At the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital, where about five children are receiving treatment, this woman narrated what happened to a 15-year-old JSS1 student. <laughs> According to one of the doctors treating this student, their blood sample have been taken to the path care in order to determine what the toxic gaseous substance is. He, however, maintained that they are stable and responding to treatment. This incident, according to environmental experts, raises vital questions as to the role of government agencies' ability to regularly monitor, inspect and sanction airing violators of environmental laws. Joshua Mrakio, STV News.